the hidden dangers of acute kidney injury. Acute kidney injury, or AKI, is a sudden loss of kidney function, often within hours or days. Its importance lies in its potential to cause severe complications, including chronic kidney disease, if not promptly treated. Shockingly, acute kidney injury affects millions worldwide annually, leading to high mortality rates. This condition often goes unnoticed until it progresses, emphasizing the need for early detection and awareness to mitigate its impact. Common symptoms of AKI include reduced urine output, swelling in various body parts, fatigue, shortness of breath, mental confusion, and nausea. Recognizing these signs early can be crucial for effective treatment. Reduced urine output is a hallmark symptom of acute kidney injury, where the kidneys fail to eliminate waste efficiently. This can lead to a dangerous buildup of toxins in the body, warranting immediate medical attention. Swelling, particularly in the legs, ankles, and around the eyes, occurs due to fluid retention. This happens when the kidneys are unable to balance fluid levels, causing discomfort and potentially leading to more severe health issues. Fatigue is another symptom of acute kidney injury. When kidneys are not functioning well, waste products accumulate in the blood, making the body feel tired and sluggish. This persistent exhaustion can significantly impact daily activities. Acute kidney injury can cause shortness of breath. When the kidneys fail to remove excess fluid, it can accumulate in the lungs. This fluid buildup makes breathing difficult, leading to persistent shortness of breath and discomfort. Mental confusion can be a symptom of acute kidney injury. The buildup of toxins in the bloodstream can affect brain function, resulting in impaired cognitive abilities and confusion. This mental fog can be disorienting and concerning, Nausea and vomiting are common symptoms of acute kidney injury. The accumulation of waste products in the blood can irritate the digestive system, leading to persistent nausea and frequent vomiting. This can further complicate the patient's condition. Now let us talk about the causes of acute kidney injury. Reduced blood flow to the kidneys can lead to acute kidney injury by depriving them of essential oxygen and nutrients. This can result from conditions like heart failure, severe dehydration, or significant blood loss, impairing kidney function. Direct damage to the kidneys from toxins or infections can cause acute kidney injury. Harmful substances, such as certain antibiotics or heavy metals, and severe infections like sepsis, can directly impair kidney cells, leading to dysfunction. Blockages in the urinary tract can lead to acute kidney injury by preventing urine from leaving the body. This obstruction causes urine to back up into the kidneys, increasing pressure and damaging kidney tissues, hindering their function. Severe dehydration can cause acute kidney injury by drastically reducing the volume of blood flowing to the kidneys. Without adequate water or fluid levels, the kidneys cannot filter waste products effectively leading to the accumulation of toxins in the bloodstream. Certain medications, including non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and some antibiotics, can cause acute kidney injury. These drugs can impair kidney function either by reducing blood flow to the kidneys or by causing direct toxic effects on kidney cells. People most at risk for developing acute kidney injury include those with chronic kidney disease, diabetes, or high blood pressure. Elderly individuals, hospitalized patients, and those undergoing major surgeries also have an increased risk of AKI. Diagnosis of AKI typically involves assessing medical history, physical examinations, and various tests. Early detection is crucial for effective treatment and can significantly improve patient outcomes. Prompt diagnosis can prevent progression to chronic kidney disease. Blood tests are essential in diagnosing AKI. They measure levels of creatinine and blood urea nitrogen, which indicate kidney function. Elevated levels often signal impaired kidney function, prompting further investigation and immediate medical intervention. Urine tests play a crucial role in detecting AKI. These tests can reveal abnormalities like proteinuria, hematuria, or the presence of casts. Such findings help pinpoint the underlying cause and guide appropriate treatment strategies. 
Imaging tests, including ultrasounds and CT scans, provide detailed visuals of the kidneys. These non-invasive techniques help identify structural abnormalities, blockages, or fluid accumulation, facilitating accurate diagnosis and tailored treatment plans for AKI patients. A kidney biopsy involves taking a small tissue sample for examination under a microscope to determine the extent of damage. It's usually considered when other diagnostic tests don't provide sufficient information about the cause of AKI. Medications are often prescribed to treat the underlying causes of AKI, such as antibiotics for infections or drugs to manage blood pressure. These medications help in stabilizing kidney function and preventing further damage. Fluid management is crucial in treating AKI. This involves carefully monitoring and balancing fluid intake and output to prevent either dehydration or fluid overload, ensuring the kidneys are not further strained while they recover. Dialysis may become necessary when kidney function severely declines and waste products and excess fluids need to be removed from the blood. This treatment can be temporary until the kidneys recover or long-term if the damage is irreversible. Treating the root causes of acute kidney injury is crucial for recovery. This often involves addressing underlying conditions like infections, dehydration, or blockage. Tailored treatment plans can significantly improve kidney function and overall health, preventing further complications. Implementing lifestyle changes can greatly reduce the risk of AKI. Staying well hydrated, avoiding excessive use of over-the-counter pain medications, and managing chronic conditions like diabetes and hypertension are essential steps toward maintaining healthy kidney function. Simple habits such as regular exercise, a balanced diet rich in fruits and vegetables, and avoiding smoking can go a long way in protecting your kidneys from potential harm and injury. Success stories abound of individuals overcoming AKI with prompt medical intervention and lifestyle adjustments. One patient, diagnosed early and treated effectively, regained full kidney function and now advocates for awareness, proving that recovery is indeed possible. If you suspect you might have acute kidney injury, consulting a healthcare provider immediately is essential. Early diagnosis and treatment can make a significant difference in outcomes, safeguarding your health and preventing severe complications. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe for more content like this and don't forget to like the video, thank you.